Hmm. So does that mean that everything that I did didn't work? Except if that's the case, then I'm just gonna do the main quest and see if I can teleport out. Oh. Okay. Looks like I still was able to keep a good portion of everything. Keep everything, looks like. Ah, uh, yep. Okay, cool. How's it going? Hello, Mr. Moon. I have the moons you asked me to collect. Oh, goodness! You're as fearless as I'd hoped. An excellent start. Uh, if we can collect more, it may shed some light on who's behind all this. Of course, I first suspected Peeves. He drove the previous caretaker, rancorous cop, to an early retirement with his intolerable buffoonery. But that does not explain the bogger in Oxmead, does it? No. I am determined, with your help, to discover the identity of my tormentor. I'll see what I can do, but I'm fairly busy. I can't promise anything. Uh, understood. Uh, but I hope you will find the time. In case it matters, I do have something to offer in exchange for your assistance. Mm. Now, remember, the moons are only retrievable at night. Thus, I encourage you to use a disillusionment when necessary. You mentioned offering something in exchange for my assistance. I did. Uh, once you've brought me enough moons, I'll show you even more powerful forms of Alahamora. Not every lock is as easy to pick as the faculty towers. Oh. Yeah, how many statues, how many statues are, there? are there to find? I don't know precisely, but I've spotted dozens. Seems they're everywhere I look. You have your work cut out for you. If you were to ever unravel their meaning. Understood. I shall keep an eye out. I appreciate that. Mm -hmm. Oh, I, I knew you were the one to ask for help. Uh, keep at it so we can solve this mystery. Revelio. All right. Thirty total. Oh, jeez. Beast's class. Sure, I'll attend Beast's class, right? Lependo, Defendo, right. And Descendo. Beast class sounds more fun. Mm 
Got an appraiser at the house. Evil, thank you for lurking. Oh yeah, that's right, it's night, huh? Okay. Rebellion. Well, since it's night, let's go over here real quick. What was that? Level two. Oh, hey, look, a statue. Fine now, dummy guys. Is that behind the level two? Mm, yes, it is. Level two. Okay. Revelio. Welcome, everyone. I see you've already met some of the many beasts we study in this class. Though be advised, none of these creatures should be taken lightly. They are all in their own way dangerous, especially if one does not know how to handle them properly. Uh -huh. Now, it seems many of you are out of practice. Let's take some time to review the basics of how to care for a beast, shall we? Miss Sweeting, would you please assist our new student with the lesson today? Yes, Professor Howen. Hello, I'm Poppy, Poppy Sweeting. Don't worry about Professor Howen's speech. She over-exaggerates sometimes. <laughs> All the beasts in class are perfectly safe. Oh! Miss Sweeting, pay attention, please. The tongue of a puffskin can be a slippery devil. Uh, yes, Professor. Here. You can practice on Gerald. Just keep an eye out for his tongue. <laughs> <clears throat> Sage wisdom. You can use my brush. Just be gentle. Oh, and think. Oh, oh, okay. Darn it. I like to think it enriches his experience. That's lovely. I'm sure he feels much better. I think he might be hungry. Would you mind giving speed? Okay. What do you suppose the pellets taste like to Gerald? Pudding, I like to think. I think we can safely say that Gerald likes you. That's good news. He seems very nice. He is. Kindness is one of his best qualities, right after ambition and cleanliness. Good work, everyone. Now, let's make our way to the pens and select another beast. And please, do be careful as you feed and groom them. Miss Sweeting, why don't you show our new student to the measles in the farthest pen? This way. The measles are over here. The cats. Oh, couple of knees or whiskers ought to get me a few canuts at least. Enough to buy something from Honey Jeeks. <laughs> 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 
stupid thing. Oh. <sighs> what in Merlin's <sighs> name are you doing? Ugh, tuss, tuss, peculiar poppy. Worried about a worthless little rodent? Her name is Persephone! <laughs> Her name is Persephone! <laughs> That's really not funny. <sighs> Let's go. Those two don't belong anywhere near this class. Poachers in training. Persephone was onto them instantly. Thank you for your help. Let's carry on. Feed and brush the new video is out. Oh, sweet fainted. I can't wait to add it to my collection of playlists. The measles really took to you. They know a good egg when they see one. As do I. It appears our time has come to an end. Please close the pens and see yourselves out. Now, where is our new student? Ah, there you are. I would like a moment, please. Hello, Professor. You wanted to speak with me? I did. How did you find your first beast's lesson? Hmm. It was all right. But honestly, I find the beast's unpredictability unnerving. Wouldn't know it the way you handled them. You'll soon learn that properly controlled beasts can play a vital role in our lives. Some provide us with magically imbued materials, if cared for correctly, which does not include torturing them for whiskers. Well done, by the way. Probably best to let me handle it next time. Yes, Professor. They're nearly as bad as the Savagers in Rookwood's poacher pack. <sighs> Sadly, we're the ones who suffer. Stumbling over dead beasts? Terrible waste of resources. Surely the poachers can be brought to justice by someone. The Ministry, perhaps? Hmm. An optimistic idea. Now, why don't we focus on more immediate matters that we can control? Professor Weasley has asked that I prepare some assignments designed to help you catch up to the other fifth years. Be on the lookout for my owl. Meanwhile, I also encourage you to study as many beasts as you can on your own time. As many beasts as I can. All right. I need to talk to you. Come here. Mm, okay. Do you need something, Poppy? Thank you again for saying something to those brutes so that I didn't have to. You were an augury at noon in the desert. I certainly hope that's a good thing. <laughs> it's something my gran and I say. It means that something or someone is a welcome surprise. At least that's what we decided it meant. I couldn't stand there and watch them harm the poor thing. We're of a similar mind. Actually, in light of that, there's someone I'd like you to meet in the forest. Sounds intriguing. You've intrigued me. Very well. Lead the way. I'd hoped I would. Come with me. Okay. I wouldn't take just anyone there. In fact, you're the first. Really? I'm well, first. thank you. I mean, what? I think. As I said, we think alike. Pleasant surprise. the weather we're having, do you think? Poppy, where are you taking me? It really is much better if I just show you. <laughs> well, that was intentional. Don't worry, we're nearly there. It's just ahead. Stand back. Is it a hippogriff? Ah. Well, well, well. Please meet High Wing. 
Isn't she just magnificent? Go on, introduce yourself to her, but be careful. You must always show hippogriffs the proper courtesy before you approach them. It's like, why isn't he bowing? I knew it. I don't think I've ever seen a hippogriff take to someone this quickly. You can feed and brush her if you'd like. I come and check on her every once in a while. Bring her pasties, tell her what's going on in the castle. You wouldn't know from looking at her, but she's a dreadful busybody. She was brilliant. Can't believe you introduced me to her. I suspected you two might get along. Are you the reason students have been seeing hippogriffs Going flying above the Alex. Forbidden Forest? Apparently mm, I am on chapter two. Did you know that once you earn a hippogriff's trust, they'll always be there for you? I've seen it firsthand with her. How exactly did you and Highwing cross paths? It's a longer story, but I rescued her from poachers a few years back. Got her to safety and, well, she was fine until recently. You may have noticed that poachers are something of a problem in the area, so I worry they could get her again, and that I might not be there next time. Professor Howen mentioned the poachers as well. She seems to imply that we couldn't rely on the Ministry to help. I don't often agree with Professor Howen, but on that, I fear she's right. The poachers' influence is growing. Mm, I see them worst. every day in the village, awesome, lingering, Alex. talking to people. I can't They're wait. up to something. I'm just not sure what. You may be reading into it. Talking to people isn't a crime. It's hard to explain, but something about it just feels wrong. I think I'm going to look into it. Find out what's going on. What they're doing. Okay. I'm not sure that's such a good idea. The poachers seem a dangerous lot. They don't scare me. Besides, I'd do anything to keep Highwing safe. You seem undeterred. Will you let me know what you find out? Oh, very well. I will. I should be going, but we'll speak again soon, I hope. Mm -hmm. Beast class complete. And one teleport. All right. Thank you for the level up. Uh, no, nope, you didn't spook me. <laughs> Did you spook you? Lies. I would never lie. These rocks have seen better days. Revelio. Oops. 
Let's do that. Where are you going? Skin, Revenue. Let's do that and that. Okay. Dark mongrel. Oh, okay. <laughs> Hello, Queenie. Welcome on in. Level three. Oh, jeez. Okay. It's down here, I think. Rebellion. Pippin's potions. Queenie, thank you for the daily tax. <laughs> Hello there. In the market for potions, are we? What up, baby? Go check out Vainty's new video. Those we can sell. Oh, what up, baby?
I delivered the potions to Fatima Luang. Very good. And uh, did she cause you any trouble? Nothing to worry about. I handled it. Glad to hear it. And thank you again for your help. Delivering those potions was a bit more work than I'd expected. I'd like an additional fee. I suppose that's business for you. Very well, I shall increase your pay, but I'm not at all pleased about it. By the way, I found this book of potion recipes in Kingbridge. Might it be useful to you? Is this Fatima's recipe book? You should keep it. She doesn't deserve to have it. I appreciate what you're saying, but you have much to learn about respecting the property of others. Some things are sacred amongst potioners. I shall return it to her immediately. Mm -hmm. All right, let's see here. That's less. That's less. See you again. Fifty three up six, I'll take it. And then I'll sell. Oh, right, right, right. I hope to see you again. Farewell for now. Troll bogies, right. A wise decision. Thank you. <laughs> that works on that quest. Rebellion. Right. Let's go see if we can find anything to uh, unlock. Level three. Level three. Level two. Hog's head. Okay. You're back. Nice to see you again. Ooh, upgrade. You'll be Thank thrilled you. with that broom, I promise you. I must tell you, Arthur Vogsmead's been by the shop asking about rumours of a broom upgrade. Without the information you provided, my work would have taken twice as long. Thank you again. It may sound ambitious, but I've already begun work on another upgrade, more difficult to perfect than the last. I wondered, would you be interested in joining forces again? There's another course near Irondale that Miss Reyes has mastered. If you were to test this first upgrade there, it may help me as I develop the next. Oh, you'll consider it, won't you? 
Sounds as if you're really outdoing yourself. If I'm able to help, I will. <laughs> Thank you. I know this recent success was only the beginning of what I can do for Broom Flight. Report cool. back as soon as you can, and we'll be off to the races. Hello, fire. Thank you for the hype. How are you enjoying lethal company? Revelio. Off to the races then. than Hogsmeade. What do we have here? Was. A demiguise. A demiguise, but it's daytime. A Fupa statue. Alright, let's see if that option still exists. Oh, oh it does. Mine now, demiguise. Rebellion. Hello there. Nice to see you. Hello, Miss Ryan. I wanted to thank you again for your help with Rookwood and Harlow the day of the troll attack. Serona, please. And I was happy to help. Oh, those two are nothing but trouble. Glad you and your friend were here when they found you. I am too. You were speaking to a goblin here that day. Yes, Lodgog. <laughs> He's a friend. I was surprised that you seemed friendly with the goblin. I've known him for years. We met when I was waiting tables here as a student, well before I bought the place. He was cordial enough, but we weren't friends then. His mistrust of wizard kind ran deep. But you're friends now. We are. I hadn't seen him in years when he came in a few months ago. But he recognized me instantly, which is more than I can say for some of my own classmates. It took them a second to realize I was actually a witch, not a wizard. Not all goblins are like Ranrock and his loyalists. Lodgok is as worried as the rest of us about what's been going on. In that case, I'd like to talk with him, about Ranrock in particular. Where might I find him? I assume your interest is to do with the rumors I've heard about Ranrock working with our friend Rookwood. It is. If he's not here, you might find him doing business at the Hog's Head. He's a trusted metal trader. You should mention that we spoke. He can, understandably, be wary of witches and wizards. Even ones as young as you. That said, if you're looking for information on Ranrock to help rein him in, you'll find an ally in Lodgok. Hmm. Thank you. Thank you, Serona. 
If you find Lord Gog, please give him my best. I don't know what you've done to make such powerful enemies, but please, watch your back. Pardon me, but were you saying something? Oh, hello. Talking to myself. I'm Clementine. Willetsy. Charmed. I was musing on the precious butterflies I see near the edge of the forest. Whenever I come near, they fly off into it. When I was at Hogwarts, we truly were forbidden from entering the forest. Told horrible stories about it, and I've had an irrationally intense fear of it ever since. <laughs> it's silly, but I'm insatiably curious as to where the butterflies go in the forest. You couldn't possibly find out, could you? You want me to follow the butterflies? I do, oh, yes. Better than following if the spiders, I guess. Mind. What were the horrible stories you were told about the Forbidden Forest? Oh, goodness, everything from students being mysteriously beheaded to terrifying spider dens. Oh, trust me, you hear that at 11 years old, it sticks with you. But very well. If I have time, I shall see where they lead. Oh, how kind. Students these days have so much more courage than I ever did. You can usually find me right around here. I hope to see you soon. Mm -hmm. Follow the butterflies. Don't forget, the butterflies always seem to be on the fringes of the Forbidden Forest. right now though at the hog's head okay something? Hello, Lord Gok. Sorona said I might find you here. She did, did she? Did she send you with news? No, actually, I wanted to speak with you. It's about Ranrock. Now I remember. The three broomsticks. Day of the troll attack. You're the student he's after. I am, and I need to know what he and his loyalists are up to so I can stay a step ahead. Let's say I did know. Why should I trust you? Sorona said our interests may be aligned. Perhaps she was wrong. Hmm. Well, if Sorona believes we have common goals, then it is possible that we can trust each other. Very well. I may know of something that could help us both. A way to get Ranrock to confide his plans to me. I'm listening. Years ago, a heinous witch stole a sacred goblin relic. Rumor has it that it now rests in her sarcophagus, in a tomb accessible only by wizard kind. 
Ranrock and I had a, a falling out a while back. The relic could well repair the chasm between us. If I retrieve the relic, how do I know you'll tell me the truth about what Ranrock says? We will have to trust each other. I, that you will not abscond with the relic, and you, that I'll share what I learn. Gather whatever supplies you may need, and meet me near the witch's tomb. Okay. Time to head to a tomb. on the outskirts. Oh, okay. That's interesting. As we wait. Hmm. There we go. I'm ready. Good. There's no time to lose. What precisely is the relic I'm to retrieve? A valuable heirloom known as the Helmet of Ertgot. The witch considered herself a collector and purchased the helmet as a trinket. She cared not what pain she caused the goblins. Goblins believe that the rightful owner of any object is its maker, not its purchaser. Wizard kind see things differently. It's a wonder goblins and wizards have ever been able to work together. The differences between our kinds are myriad. They seem to be. It may surprise you to know that I do not believe those differences always to be insurmountable. It is the reason I find myself traveling with you to this tomb today. Okay. Hmm. That looks like quite the ruin trial. I'm thinking probably butterflies. And there it is, the witch's tomb. Revelio. Dreadful looking place, isn't it? Hmm. I wish you luck retrieving the helmet. As a one carrier, you should have an advantage. Now, before you set off, do you have any greater greater luck on it? Wow. Fire, thank you for the raid. Lethal Company, how was it? It all seems clear to me now that we're here. I do hope our alliance proves fruitful. Again, I wish you luck. I will remain here, eagerly awaiting your return. Please, be careful. Well, well Fire, if you need to go and get some rest or get some water, 
or anything of that nature, please do so. But yeah, currently we're playing Hogwarts Legacy. This is my third day streaming it. Rebellion. From a Switch. Sealed. Interesting. Lumos. Moths. Curious. Fire has the dash to do some errands. She hopes your stream's going well. Thank you, Ellie. Lumos. Okay, let's go this way. Apparently you can only have one at a time. You can only have one at a time. All right. Sir Moosin, Sil. Thank you, Rilom Lom. Thank you for the day. Bullen's beard. Lumos. This can't be the witch's tomb. Likely, I need to go further. Ah, okay. There's one. Confringo! Oh, actually, here, this. This might be what I need to do. Confringo! Prepare her! No, that's not it. Perhaps the spell would help open this door. Yeah. Okay. Lumos. Thank you. Ah, there we go. Revelio. Lumos. Those bad Rebellious. Guys. Looks like it. All right. I have a feeling I'm not alone here. Yay! Read it into magic. Hey, evil. Well, come on in. <laughs> Rebellion. Rebellion. 
Revelio. Oh, okay. Uh. Lumos. Um, yeah, let's try that. Repair. That does nothing. Lumos. Levioso. Accio. Levioso. Hmm. Lumos. Accio. No. Lumos. Lumos. Maybe further in. Lumos. Ah, take you. Put you there. If I could power it somehow, it looks like it could be rotated. Maybe if I do this, actually. Lumos! Wingardium Leviosa. Depulsa. Ah, all right. Lumos. That answers that question. Lumos. Levioso. Accio. Wingardium Leviosa. Need to get that platform closer. But how? Levioso. Ah, okay. Accio. Wingardium Leviosa. Rebellio. Lumos. <laughs> Levioso. Accio. Ah. 
Guardian Leviosa. Accio. Guardian Leviosa. Lumos. Lumos. Oh, ah, well. What's that hanging there? Looks precar- It's sealed shut from the other side. Capulso! Lumos. Oh, down I go. Oh, okay. No other way. Lumos. Well, I'm gonna go this way first. First things first. Over here. Leviosa. And up. And up. Three seater sofas. Revelio. Rebellion. 